All right, guys, a crazy story. Um, I was I made some recovery after my match, and uh, I was about to uh, pack my bag and start to edit the vlog that I'm doing right now. And I got a message from my girlfriend saying that I am lucky loser. What's up guys, welcome to a new episode of my vlog, Ibadiao here from India and uh, it's a very exciting period of my life because um, I'm aiming to qualify for the Olympic Games in Paris um, so I'm very excited about it uh, but by the way, and this is very important is that please let me know all the things that you want to see uh, the behind the scene of the tournament, the rules the prospectus, the price, the, the price of the tournament, whatever, anything, like everything that you have uh, doubt about or that you want to know, and I will basically share most of my experience uh, until now to the qualification of the Olympic Games and uh, the Olympic, of course. I'm very happy about it, but of course there were a lot of uh, trash talking uh, from from my side uh, toward WTT, but somehow like I put my ego aside and said that okay, that's the rules that we are playing in and I have to play with with the card that I have in my hands. And I really want to go to the Olympic Games, so anyway, I have to play uh, WTT event, etc. So, yes, for me that's the goal, so this is done and uh, now i'm ready to go and fight for my spot at the olympic games uh but yes i'm very excited uh, right now i start my journey uh, normally the qualification will be uh, for the african qualification will be in uh, in february um february next year so basically all the tournament that i will make from now on will count for my ranking and this is very important for my spot in the Olympic Games. Something new um, is that I changed my setup and now I'm playing with the new blade from Andro. This is the Sintaliac here. So it's a carbon. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah. It's a carbon. Uh, it's very nice. I, it's the first time since I think 15 years that I'm, that I'm playing with a carbon blade. And this one, it's very good um, because it shows, uh, first of all, a lot of power. Uh, but in the meantime a lot of control so so it's good for any type of game it's also very good in the control in the short game so uh, so yes I'm very happy with this blade I think this is very very like this is a, a very very nice blade very nice so yes another good news also is that I signed I signed for my club uh, in Lao Mine for two more years so this is good I'm very happy about this I'm very happy about the club the club it's very nice um, I'm not performing very well and I would like really to improve um, my performance for the club uh, because uh, I think we definitely deserve better um, so yes this is something very good uh, for me and for my development this is important thing for me that I sent for two years uh, because actually this period of uh, January and February it's like when all the players uh, are looking for clubs and it's actually very demanding mentally because uh, we have to change basically maybe where we want to live etc uh, and then I sent for two years um, because um, because uh, next year in February as I said before there will be the qualification for the Olympic etc and I don't want to have to think about it so I don't want to think about it so so uh, that's the reason why I signed for for two years of course because i like the club but also it's also january and february it will be a very important period uh, for the qualification olympic games but yes enough talk i had a very long travel i slept a little bit and now i will go practice with uh, mr felix lebrun so yes it will be easy practice just to touch the ball feel the body uh, feel the hole also it's my first time in india I, and i'm excited just to start this new journey so yes thank you guys
I'm alone in the bus, that's weird. There is the entrance. Go to the court. sur le service. minutes from the hall okay. but uh, they didn't prepare anything the um, there is no uh, no bus schedule or something like this so, so it's just yeah. like every time I ask and they try to find a car and then we go to the, to the hall you live in hotel with other players uh, there is two hotels and so far I'm with the I think they put all the European in one and then all the others in another one yeah, but they didn't have air conditioner, so we were so wet. Like after we actually didn't make service receive because we couldn't. So then after we stop, and they said they, there is a problem with air conditioner, so they will try to fix it tomorrow. But, okay. Yeah. yeah, I hope they will, huh? because otherwise it's gonna be hard to play. It's uh, no, no, in this like this is no chance. It's yeah. hot, right, outside? Thirty six and so and uh, eighty percent humidity. Yeah. What time is it? But you, it's six, it's six, uh, six, right? Yes. Us is ten thirty six. <laughs> What's the scene? New Delhi. Yeah, you can put New Delhi or New, I mean Goa, but you can put New Delhi. It's thirty six. All over the world is six, and now here is thirty six. That is so weird. You're four and a half hours in front. Yes. <laughs> Alright guys, now I'm gluing my rubbers, so that's why I'm 
looking down while I'm talking to you. So the plan today is uh, two practices. Uh, I will practice in the main hall uh, for the, my first practice. So this is good. So basically, I will go a little bit before and start practicing like warm up for info and back and back and uh, on the warm up table. And then I will have a full hour, uh, a full hour of uh, practice in the main hall. Try to get the most of it, service and receive, and to have this match feeling uh, on the main hall. And then the second practice, uh, it will be very, very, very light. Uh, just to fix the things that was not correct in uh, during the first practice in the morning and yeah and that's it so yes that's about it so now let's go through the day guys I'm back in the room um, today was a very long day uh, I had uh, two practices uh, one with Horacio that you saw earlier and the second one with Rambert and then this one was a little bit more um, technical uh, practice I got to test uh, my racket so everything is on point um, yeah me make some service make some first start and then everything so uh, I didn't uh, Take the camera on uh, on this one because uh, I really wanted to be focused on uh, on this practice because uh, this practice was very important for me. But uh, I will not play tomorrow. I will uh, I will have um, I pass around so I'm by uh, and then I will play against the winner of Shetty and Malik. I don't know if you can see here on the screen. But uh, yes, I don't know Malik, but I know Shetty and he's a very good player from uh, Indian national team. He's been around 
uh, for uh, for a long time. I will, they play tomorrow at. Uh, let me see. They play tomorrow at uh, 11:45. So I will go there, look their look their match, um, and then see a little bit how uh, how they are playing. It's a long time I didn't see Shetty. Uh, and uh, of course, I need to discover a little bit about uh, Malik. Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow only one practice. Uh, yeah, same easy session, a lot of uh, technique and service, etc. To be sure that everything is on point. And I will also go uh, to a gym to put some tents on my on my body. So yes, now let's go for the recovery session in my room, nice and easy. Alright guys, tomorrow I'm playing against uh, Shetty. He basically destroyed his uh, his opponent uh, Malik. Um, so what I've seen from uh, Shetty is that he has very strong forehand, tight service like this, short to forehand. He made a few long to backhand. Most of the time he actually served top spin and tried to take his forehand. Uh, so forehand is good, he has also good control in backhand, he played a very good game actually. Um, so yes, it will be a tough match, and especially me, it's the f uh, it will be my first match of the tournament and of the season. Um, and I didn't play very well lately uh, with my team, but yes, I mean, basically the thing that I have to do is just to fucking fight, you know, it's just like, just to go out there and give, give the best and 100% will not be enough I need just I, I need to give uh, 120% to be able to uh, to perform well and to push myself yeah I think this is what I need so today I prepared well I uh, I, practice, I made one very good practice with Liao Shenting the whole day uh, as you saw earlier I make some uh, some uh, little bit uh, physical and uh, I really look forward to be uh, to be tomorrow I'm excited to be uh, to be uh, traveling again and go and play in some at least nice um, nice uh, uh, feel of play at least I would say um, so yeah I really look forward for, for that I will not take any footage of the match because the WT don't allow that uh, so uh, basically uh, I will give you my impression after the match and let's hope that this vlog will continue as long as possible. Thank you guys and uh, see you tomorrow.
All right, boys, wish me good luck. So guys, I'm back from um, I'm back from the hole and I won my first match. Whew, it was hard, uh, very hard match. I, I played very bad the two first set. I won 3-2. Um, the first set was very bad. I don't feel my game so much. Uh, it's difficult for me to play just like more than two balls. It's unbelievable. I'm just very stupid, probably because I'm nervous. Um, this guy has crazy forehand. Like all the time, I try to spin to the uh, to the middle. Uh, he was uh, he was basically get, just taking his forehand and killing me. Uh, I had to I had to play mostly short to forehand, even flick down down the line forehand. All the time, I went to the backhand. Basically, he just tapped on so fast. He had just a little kick right here that just killed me. But whatever, I won. I I think I just need to fight. That's the most important thing. It's just to to fight, not think so much. Yeah, unbelievable. Like it's a mixed feeling. Mixed feeling that I have to de definitely play better than what I did. And uh, I'm happy because it's a comeback. And also very good because uh, for my head because I'm able to win playing bad. This is a uh, Shetty is a player that I respect a lot because he's there for a long time. I think he's he's been in a, in the circuit like for over 10 years. He's playing very good. He was a, a Indian talent, and he is an Indian talent still. Uh, but yes, uh, now I'm playing uh, the winner of Young Karik and uh, Kwan. Then so I think that's the name is the is the chopper. Let me see. Maybe the match is over. So I'm playing Quan Dong So, the chopper. Uh, last time I played the chopper, it was terrible. I got killed very very easily. Uh, because it's a long time I didn't practice or play against the chopper, so we will see how it will go. I hope um, I hope that I will definitely make it. This guy has seen this good chopper, quite consistent and a crazy crazy forehand. I think a crazy forehand. I think that also is serving very good. The table here has, are very slippery, so he might have a little bit, little advantage there. But but let's see. Again, I just need to go and fight out there, give my full best, and um, and see. And I probably don't, don't need to play so good to win, but maybe just to fight as hard as possible and being smart. Now, uh, now I will um, have. A, I will stretch, have a shower, and. Uh, get ready for the for the my second match is at 5:40. Um, so yes, um, so yes, a quick recovery, and then after we go to the hole and try to give our best. All right, guys. I just got into my room. Uh, oh, it's such a mixed feeling of all this match. Uh, first of all, I played against a very good player. For, uh, when I saw his matches on uh, on YouTube, uh, it was like he beat like Hugo Calderano, he beat uh, Thiago Apollonia, he made semi-final in Lima, I think. So I was, I was like so afraid. Like I mean, afraid, but excited in the meantime because I had to play against a very good player. But. Uh, I had him, I had him. Uh, such a mixed feeling really. Uh, I'm happy that I play in a, such a high level because it's a long time that I didn't play in a, like this. And in the meantime, I think I, I have to trust myself a little more. I think I'm playing a little bit too safe. I need to trust my instinct, trust my game, uh, go, f go for it. Uh, and uh, I'm doubting too much a little bit of uh, of my abilities. I think, yeah, because I think it was it was a rare, it was a dog fight. You know, I was I was there. He he was also fighting uh, like hell. He just sometimes caught caught some ball that was unbelievable. But 
but yeah, I think he was also very smart. This is maybe one of the things that maybe I, sometimes I need a coach. I'm always alone. Sometimes he plays some, some yeah, some uh, he played very nice like tactically and stuff. But yeah, really, it was it was an interesting match. I think I think that I I, I had him and uh, maybe two three adjustments where some balls I could I could maybe a little bit little bit be more passive. But all the time that I was passive, then he he just step around and then kill me. So. It, I think just by his presence, he was putting putting so much pressure, and I had to all the time give a very good quality ball uh, to to win the to win the um, to win the point. But yes, guys, this is the end of the vlog. Unfortunately, um, yeah. Thank you very much for the support. I hope that uh, you like the content, and uh, you have also to tell me what you want to see during the during the tournament. Uh, then I will try my best to show you uh, the, the yes, a little bit uh, behind the scene of uh, such a tournament. Uh, but thank you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, this will mean a lot to me. And uh, now I will just e edit this video and go to Singapore for the Grand match where I will make a vlog again. Thank you guys and see you soon. All right, guys. A crazy story. Um, I was I made some recovery after my match, and uh, I was about to uh, pack my bag and start to edit the vlog that I'm doing right now. And I got a message from my girlfriend saying that I am a lucky loser, so I couldn't believe it. And then I went to the main draw uh, on WTT uh, app, and I found out that I was a lucky loser and that I'm playing tomorrow against. Joao Geraldo from Portugal. So yes, it's the first first time that uh, this happened to me. Uh, one more chance uh, to win one match and then to play in India. So I'm very happy. As, as I said, I had a lot of fun playing the match before. So I will give my absolute best. Thank you guys for watching. And for those who didn't stop the video before uh, the end, uh, thank you guys for, for keep watching the vlog. Okay, the, the, my, my flight is leaving at 8.25. 8.25? Yes. But tomorrow? Tomorrow, yes. 8.25, uh, 2 March. And flight number is 6E589. Okay. Yeah. Now your flight is tomorrow night? Yeah, my flight tomorrow I, ju I just would like to extend one more, yeah. one more night. Do you want to stay for one more day? Yeah, one more day, exactly. Well, guys, I'm, I'm ready uh, for my match against uh, Giraldo. Um, my body feels okay, only my shoulder. I have some uh, some uh, stiffness in, on my shoulder, but I did uh, all the recovery that I need, and especially the cups. I think that uh, I have some energy uh, in the tank to give my full best uh, during the during the match. Uh, look some matches on of um, Giraldo on YouTube and. Uh, it will be a very tough match, uh, but I have a pretty good uh, tactic against uh, against him. So let's see if this works. And of course, the most important is to fight, even if uh, the tactic doesn't really work. Uh, and then yeah, I would just try to grab the chance that uh, uh, that uh, WTT gave me by being a lucky loser. Let's see how it will go. But guys, wish me good luck, and I hope that we will continue this vlog as long as possible. <laughs>